Hello, and welcome to the Daily Almanac for November 24. So, let's get started. First day in history! <laughs> On this day in history, November 24, 1784, Zachary Taylor, who became the 12th President of the United States in 1849, was born in Virginia. Northerners and Southerners disputed sharply whether the territories taken from Mexico should be open to slavery, and some Southerners even threatened succession. Standing firm, Zachary Taylor was prepared to hold the Union together by armed force. On July 4, 1850, Taylor fell ill and tragically within five days, he was dead. Also, on this day in 1909, Wilbur and Orville Wright formed a corporation for the commercial manufacture of airplanes. The brothers soon found themselves involved in business affairs, manufacturing and selling planes, arranging for flying exhibitions, and training pilots. And on this day in 1987, the United States and the Soviet Union agreed to eliminate certain types of nuclear missiles. It was the first treaty to eliminate some nuclear weapons since their invention 50 years before. The treaty was the result of meetings between President Ronald Reagan and Soviet leader Mikhail Gorbachev. Today on Word Power, we're going to talk about the word tranquil. Tranquil means calm, steady, and stable. The opposite of tranquil is agitated and nervous. Now, when I think of the word tranquil, I imagine watching the sunrise when everything around me is still and quiet. When I'm feeling tranquil, my mind is at rest. The word tranquil comes from the French word tranquillité. In Spanish, the word tranquillo means calm and relaxed. <laughs> Today on Extremes, we ask, what U.S. city sits at the highest elevation? The answer is Leadville, Colorado. This town is perched in the Rocky Mountains and sits up at 10,152 feet, which is 3,094 meters. Leadville was originally founded as a gold and silver mining town, and in the 1880s, it drew people from near and far who were seeking their fortunes. Health tips. Hmm. <laughs> On a school bus, the driver can't see what everybody is doing all the time. I mean, there's only one driver, but there are lots of children. That means you need to help keep the situation safe by always following bus safety rules. For example, don't yell or throw things. That may make the driver look at you and not at the road, and that might cause trouble. I do you have a computer at home? If you do, does it stay on all the time? If it does, you're wasting energy. So turn off your computer and monitor when you're done using them. And ask your parents to set up the sleep feature so the machine powers down when it's on but not in use for a while. This is an especially good idea in the summer months because computers and monitors produce heat. And that's not very helpful when you want to keep cool. Well, that's all the time we have left today for Daily Almanac. Thanks for stopping by, and I hope to see you tomorrow. <laughs>